Tonight, we're hearing a firsthand account of what happened on board a Greyhound bus as it crashed in central Utah. This crash happened just before midnight in Emory County along Interstate 70. Fox 13's Eliana Sheriff joins us from the scene with more. This bus was traveling from Green River to Las Vegas when just before midnight it veered off the right side of the roadway going about 100 yards before overturning. 37 people were on board including Antonio Hill. It was a real scary situation you know, because you know, just out of nowhere you know, I hear a lot of scrub and, and you know, I start seeing sparks. It smoked up from the, like, the back side windows and the next thing you know it's like Antonio was trying to get to Salt Lake City to start trucking school. He was supposed to arrive days ago, but weather created delays. But uh, so many delays happened. The was showing up so late that it turned that into a four day trip. He says just about an hour into the drive last night, he got up to go to the bathroom. That's when the bus crashed. I flew into the air. Oh my God. You know, uh, everything went wrong. He's in the hospital right now in Price with a bruised lung and internal bleeding. We learned 32 people were transported by ambulance to three hospitals. Ambulances from five different counties responded, as well as some EMTs in their personal vehicles. Helicopters were paged, but were unable to respond due to weather conditions. Because of how remote the accident was, 10 patients were taken in the middle of the night to a temporary shelter at a church. Residents came with food and blankets, and six of those were taken from the church to the hospital. The roads didn't look like they were too bad at the time that the crash occurred. And this crash is still under investigation. We will keep you posted as we learn more. In Emory County, Eliana Sheriff, Fox 13 News, Utah.